Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how the hash map works internally. So this is a very popular interview question and been asked many times in many of the interviews. So, so in this tutorial, actually, we're going to have a brief idea how the things works. So here, I'm going to use my whiteboard so that I can um, draw some diagrams and can represent the thing in a little bit simpler way. And once you get the overall idea over here, then I'll, I will use my Eclipse IDE where I'll debug the things and I'll show you the things up in a very practical way. All right, so let's get started and let's start scoring. Okay, so now let's create a very simple map and let's insert few values to our map, okay? So now my map, okay, so now here I'm creating a very simple map here, okay? And here I'm taking string as a key. So I'll take string and value. Uh, for value, I'm, I'm going to take integer, right? Okay, so here we go. So I, I, I assume that you already know how a map works, okay? So string is my key and using the key, I can look up a value, right? Okay, so here I'm taking the reference as map and I'll write equal to new hash map. So hash map is actually an implementation of map interface, right? I assume you guys already have knowledge in it. Okay, so new hash map, all right? Okay, so here I'll take the diamond bracket and I'll take the constructor over here. So I'll, I'm not specifying anything inside the diamond bracket. So if I'm not specifying anything, it's going to take the same as this. Okay, so no confusion with that. Okay, so whenever I write this line and I insert few values to my map, what is going to be happen internally, right? So what will happen over here? It is going to create an array of buckets. Okay, so here I'm going to draw some buckets here. Okay. So buckets means just like this, okay? It is going to create few array of buckets, okay? Now, this is uh, very important that, uh, what will be the size of buckets, okay? So the size will be 16, okay? So there is 16 number of buckets is going to be created over here. So let's do it over here very quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now you know that the RA index starts from zero, right? So it starts from zero here. So this is my zeroth index. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So zero to fifteen. That is sixteen in size, right? So very simple. I am creating my map. So internally, an array of buckets is going to be created, okay? So now let's go a little ahead, okay? So each bucket here is called a node. So each bucket here, remember, is called a node, okay? So, and what is a node? Node means, whenever I say node over here, just think that it's a linked list, okay? So each bucket is a node, or each bucket is a linked list here, okay? So I think this point is clear, right? I'm writing this line, uh, an array of buckets is going to be created, the size will be 16, and each bucket is a node or is a linked list, okay? Very simple, very straightforward. So now what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to insert few uh, values to my map, okay? So let's uh, insert few values over here. So how to insert a value to a particular map? To insert, uh, to make some entries to the map table, I'm going to use a map.put, okay? So map is my reference here. What is the method, right? And uh, okay, so the key over here, I'm, I'm taking here string, right? So let's say my key is ABC and the value is, let's say one. Okay, so now we have already inserted a particular value uh, to our map table, okay? So now let's see what happens internally, right? So uh, you are using this put method, right? So let me write this put method over here. Just assume that this is your put method. And your put method is taking a key and it's also taking a value, right? So let me write value here and V. Okay, so your put method actually uh, does a lot of things, a lot of stuff, right? So I'm not going to talk about everything it does over here, okay? So let's uh, focus on the point that we are talking about right over here. Uh, okay. okay, so your put method, what it does, first it calculate the hash, okay? The hash of the key. 
Okay, so why is calculating the hash? Okay, that we are going to learn uh, within few minutes. Okay? So first it is going to calculate the hash of the key. What is our key over here? Our key will be ABC, right? For ABC, it is going to calculate the hash of it. Okay, so what I mean by that is by using this stuff, we are going to calculate the hash code. Okay, we're going to calculate the hash code for the key. So why we need the hash code? Okay, what is the need of hash code over here? And why we're calculating the hash code? Okay, because the, because the hash code will help us to store the key in a specific index, okay? And hash code will also help us while we are retrieving the key or we are retrieving the value from a particular key, hash code will make it really faster for retrieval, right? So that's why we're using hash code. So right now, let's calculate the hash code for a specific key, okay? So right now we are, we are putting over here our, our key is ABC, okay? So now, let's say this ABC comes here. Uh, let me remove this key and put this ABC here. Now, for, for ABC, the hash code will be calculated, right? So now let's say the hash code comes something like this. One, 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 and two, okay? So this is generally an integer, right? So hash code will give you an integer, right? So, okay. So now, as I said, the hash code will help us to uh, for uh, to put this particular key inside a specific bucket, isn't it? So right now, just think, we have only uh, buckets uh, available up to 15. The last bucket we uh, which is available over here, 15, right? I said the bucket size is 16, right? So 0 to 15 is 16. But this one is a very uh, bigger value, isn't it? So right now, this key need to be stored in a specific index, which is 111, one and one, two. But wait, there is a problem, right? We have only buckets available up to 50. Now how this is going to be possible? Yes, technically, I mean, theoretically, you can create an array. I mean, such a big array for uh, of this particular index and can store this particular key in that particular index. But think, practically, it's not possible. Because if I have uh, several uh, put operation over here and I do have several elements or several entry in my map, and for each map, uh, I mean, for each entry in the map, if you're going to create such big arrays, then soon you are going to run out of the memory and uh, it will lead to uh, some several uh, performance issue, right? So theoretically, yes, it is possible. You can create such big arrays, but technically it is not possible. So what uh, need to be done over here? So for that, some modular operation need to be done, okay? Uh, okay, so how that, that, that thing uh, will be done? Uh, just like this, right? So they are calculating uh, the hash and they're doing some end operation over here and uh, they're using n minus one. And this thing is going to return you index, okay? So what the thing uh, I have written over here, don't worry about it, okay? We're, we are going to talk about it in a much detailed way um, in the following tutorials. But here, the important thing that you need to understand that it is going to return you an index, okay? And what this index is, this index is one from these buckets, okay? You are going to get an index number, okay? So what we did over here, we just put our key over here, we have calculated the hash code, right? Now the hash code is further computed, okay? Through this modular operation, and we're going to get an index of it, okay? Let's say we're going to get the index four from here, okay? So now this key ABC that you are entering over here, this key ABC is going goes to this fourth index. So where is our fourth index? So this is our fourth index, right? So here, a linked list will be created. I told you, each bucket is a node, isn't it? So node means a linked list. Okay, I told you, node means a linked list. Okay, so a linked list will be created over here, and this key value and this hash code information is going to be stored inside this linked list, okay? So now let's explore it a bit more. So, okay, so I told you, uh, these buckets are called nodes, right? So, or linked list, you can say, okay? So I've written it over here. So what this node is going to store inside it, okay? So this node or this linked list is going to store few informations inside it, okay? There are basically four information that it is going to store inside it, okay? And what are they? First, it is going to store the key, okay? It is going to store the hash code, okay? It is going to store the value, and it is also going to store the next, 
okay so if you don't understand what is this next don't worry okay i'm going i'm just coming back to this particular point okay so now just think uh, how a link looks uh, how a, a link list look like okay so a link list looks like something like this isn't it it will have some indexes and isn't it it looks like this and this last one is going to hold the address of the next node isn't it and similarly there will be a link list uh, uh, available after this node and after this node okay so this is how a typical link list looks like it will contain some values and the last index of this particular node is going to store the address of the next node okay so this is how the thing so now let me remove it and uh, let's store our available information that we get from here over here okay so now this next is actually uh, like uh, that I explained over here this next is going to uh, store the address of the next node if it is available okay so we'll be uh, exploring it uh, more you know as we progress in this tutorial okay so so now what we'll do we're going to store every information which is present over here we're going to store it over here inside the fourth fourth index or fourth bucket because here uh, for this particular key, we already got the index number is 4, okay? So now let's store the information inside it, okay? First, let's store the hash code. So what is a hash code? Our hash code is triple one, triple one, two, okay? So let me make an entry over here, triple one, triple one, two, okay? So our hash code get an entry, right? So now let's store the key. Our key is ABC, okay? And the value is 1, okay? And then I need to store this next, okay? So what is the next over here? Now, now just think, okay, is there any other link list present over here? No, there is no link, link list present over here. So let's make it null for now. Okay, so this is how uh, a typical entry uh, works internally when you're talking about a hash map. I mean, talking about a hash map, okay? So now let's have some more entry over here and let's see how it happens, okay? So now let's say I'm having a, another entry over here, map.put, and I'm going to put uh, let's say uh, a a a okay so this is a string and my value is 2 now what is going to be happen now again this is my key right a a so the what the put method what will be uh, do over here this is going to calculate the hash I mean the hash code for the key over here so what is my key a a, a. so it is going to calculate the hash code for this particular key so let's say it is going to get some value like 2 2 2 1 1 1 and two okay so this is the hash code now this hash code is further computed all right and it is going to return you the index number okay let's say the index number is returns is seven okay so now this particular key goes into the seventh bucket all right okay so now let's see as i said a link list will be created okay and it will store the hash code the key the value and the next node pointed to the next node right okay so what is my hash code over here my hash code is two 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 one 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 two okay so let's make entry over here two 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 one 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 and two all right and what is my key over here my key is a a a okay so here it goes a a a all right and what is my value my value is two so here it goes the value is two and is there any other link list present over here no so this one will be no all right very simple very straightforward so right now uh, whenever I'm I, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, have a put operation over here the hash code will be calculated the, then the index will be computed and uh, the index number is going to be the bucket number that the entry goes to okay like that it will be uh, it will put uh, it will create every link list over here and the value will be stored inside this particular buckets but wait what happens when there will be a hash collision? Okay, this is a very important thing to understand. Okay, so now let's assume that I have an another put operation as the map dot put, and here I'm putting, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say a a b. Okay, so my key is a a b, right? And my value is let's say my value is three. Now what is going to be happen? Now just assume that this a a b and a b c. Okay, this both is going to return you the same hash code. 
just assume it, right? Uh, I really don't know technically it is going to give you the same hash code or not, probably not. But assume it that this both key is going to be written with the same hash code, okay? And we'll see now how the things work after that. So just see over here, my key is AAB. So let's say I am replacing here AAB and just think that the hash code that this particular key returns is same as this particular key. A, 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 okay. So let's just think that the hash code comes as two, 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 one, 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 and two. And then again, the further the index is computed, and the index uh, that we get from here is seven. Now to see, there there is already an entry inside the seventh index. I'm sorry, I made it six. Okay, let's make it six. Sorry about it. So let's say this goes into the sixth index. Okay. All right. So now just just think that. Uh, inside the sixth index, already a linked list present, okay, with the same hash code. Now, when it is going to make an entry over here, it found that is already a linked list present here, isn't it? So now, what will be happen? Now, there is an another linked list will be created right over here. All right, and it will store the hash code, the key, the value, and the pointer to the next node. Okay, all right. So now just think how the things will happen, okay? So my hash code is same, two, 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 one, 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 and two. So it will be two, 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 one, 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 and two. All right? And now what is my value? I mean, what is my key? A, A, B. So my key goes here, A, A, B. What is my value? My value is three, right? So this is three, okay? And what is, uh, is there any other linked list present after there? No. So it will be null for now. Let's say this is null, right? Now, just think this, uh, this will not be null because there is already a linked list present right after this particular linked list, isn't it? So this is going to point to this particular linked list, all right? So this is how happens, uh, I mean, how the things will happen when there will be a hash collision. So as you can see, these both things are returning the same hash code, returning the same index number, and they'll, I mean, uh, that's how the things works after that. Okay, so another link list will be created and it will store all the things, all the four things over here. And this one, this index is going to point to the next link list. This will store the address of the next link list. We'll see how the things work while we are going to debug it. Okay, so this is how uh, a typical put operation in a hash map works internally. Okay, so now what we're going to do over here, I, I will take you to my Eclipse and we're going to debug it and We'll see whatever the things that we have discussed for last 10 minutes, which is uh, uh, that's, that's actually working in a similar way or not, okay? So let's go for that. And right after that, I'm going to tell you how the get operation work in a typical hash map, okay? So let's first debug the things and let's have a uh, clarification. I mean, let's have some better clarity on it, all right? So let's go for it. Okay, but wait, you know, I just forgot to tell one more thing, okay? It's very important in interview point of view. So what happens whenever you are adding a key with uh, null values. As you know, in, uh, in, uh, in map, we can enter null as a key, right? So if you're putting like, uh, let's say, what happened to my marker, map.put, and you are putting the null as a key, and the value is four. Now, which bucket this goes into, right? So this is one of the very favorite question of a lot of interviewers, right? So don't be confused about it, okay? So whenever you see the key, as null, make sure it will goes into the zeroth bucket. So a link list will be created over here, and this particular, I mean, this particular uh, particular key null goes into the zeroth index, okay, or zeroth bucket. So they are inside your map method. They have few lines of code which will uh, which will do that particular work. Okay, you don't need to be worried about it. You just remember whenever the key is null, it goes into the zeroth bucket. All right. Okay, so that's it. So now let's go ahead and let's debug it.